Then in what most of us believe was a proud moment, I thought it was a pretty tiring experience at my age of voting all night. Well, we approved of, or disapproved of 70 meaningless amendments, but the fact is we did a budget. And all of us patted each other on the back and we were so proud that we did the budget. But now, but now we are going to, according to the objection that was just, uh, and unanimous consent that was just asked for, in an unprecedented way, uh, put restrictions on the conferees. Now, the way we usually do it is what I'm about to do. And that is we instruct the conferees. We instruct the conferees. We don't require the conferees because that's why we appoint conferees and that's why we approve or disapprove the, uh, the result of that conference. That's how our laws are made. And that's how our budgets are made. So what do we keep doing? What do we on my side of the aisle keep doing? We don't want a budget unless, unless we put requ uh, requirements on the conferees that are absolutely out of line and unprecedented. We have called repeatedly for a return to regular order in this body. Well, regular order is going to conference. It certainly is ironic in the, at the least. It is an opportunity for the Republican House to argue for its budget. Uh, I don't, I voted against the final version of the Senate budget, but I think we should go to conference and try to work out an agreement and the instructions suggested by the Senator from Arizona are entirely reasonable.